Extra thick! Robo b- <laughs> Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about heirlooms, more specifically the heirlooms coming in the next collection event. But along with that, they are changing in a huge, huge way with new currency being introduced, more features actually being removed, prestige skins going under some changes as well, and just overall a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with Respawn. We're going to go over all of that. We're also going to give out one of the Cobalt Katars in the collection event. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and a winner will be announced in tomorrow's video. Without further ado, let's talk about what's going on with Respawn. So Apex Legends Season 20 brought a lot of change. Obviously, we got the brand new perk system and it has completely changed the meta of the game but something a lot of people didn't see coming is the way that heirlooms have now been changed as well especially going forward in the future now there was something posted on reddit the other day about Kral Rindo saying that heirlooms are going to be removed forever they will no longer be in the game and it is very important to know that that was not correct information he actually went ahead and said on his twitter a little announcement heirloom shards are not being removed people are trolling on apex uncovered posting my discord messages out of context ignore everything you see outside of my twitter so obviously everyone got very very worried that heirlooms were going to be removed from the game permanently however that turned out to be false but then he went and made a new statement that does indicate that they are going through some rapid changing he said the truth about heirloom shards it's in its very early state will most likely change respawn has plans to sell upcoming apex artifacts with a new type of currency you will be able to buy them with real money or get them from apex packs and they are not cheap example price 10 artifact shards cost 10 usd i have no idea how much shards an artifact costs old good heirloom shards won't change but you won't be able to buy artifacts with them artifact customization is still a thing every time they release a new one you'll be able to swap its pieces with the old ones basically we'll be able to mix them with each other which is a pretty big indication of what respawn and ea are doing next it's also important to know from what we know is that you are no longer going to be able to really craft these skins from the collection event it's very similar to the final fantasy one where all 36 are in the store and you can buy them directly but you can't craft them with your materials which was kind of one of the main reasons you collected the material and ea is going full on greed with this from other information Carl rido has given us it's going to cost about 240 to 290 dollars to actually unlock the heirloom completely you could get it lucky on your first pack but the probability i think is like less than a percent and if you want to do full customization it's 700 usd total and this is not going to be the only one that we see coming to the game because once again Carl confirmed a customized different variant of this heirloom will return next season as the next heirloom we get after the cobalt guitar that's what he means by you're going to be able to swap the customization parts you can basically create very very customizable heirlooms which is a very cool concept but there's some really really sad stuff in regards to that all the heirlooms for specific legends seem to be on hold or pushed back very far for instance there was actually an event last season called rag Knight that had newcastle's heirloom sword in the files ready to go the whole event actually ended up getting canceled there is a void night event i will say in season 21 so there is a chance we see it next season but as Kral said it's not going to be that rumored sword for Newcastle which is a big big shame because there are certain legends like Mad Maggie that a lot of fans want to see an heirloom for there's also like I said Newcastle Vantage Ballistic and it feels like we're never going to see those again what's also weird is that we have not heard anything about an heirloom recolor this season we got one last season with crypto however it was just thrown in a store sale so it seems like they kind of just wanted to get it out and that heirloom recolors might not be a normal thing at least not in collection events and they might be more in store sales going forward in the future because we haven't seen anything in the files for the next heirloom recolor but we already know that the next prestige skin will be for octane it's likely coming this season and that leads me to another thing that seems to be a very big problem with all these heirloom changes we are getting another prestige skin which in my opinion prestige skins are always going to be less valuable than the typical heirlooms like a newcastle sword because it's a first person skin in a first person shooter but even with the prestige skins they've started adding in the dive trails ever since valkyrie yet have not gone back and added any of the trails for the original prestige skins that released despite the fact that there were in-game files found for a bangalore dive trail and they took dive trails out of ranked as a reward and instead put in banner frames which no one was really asking for it seems like ea slash respawn are continually asking us to spend more and more money on these cosmetics while giving us less in return for these cosmetics and taking away things that we actually do really enjoy all while at the same time ea is laying off respawn staff with one staff member saying the way i was treated was so cold and inhumane during the process today just tossed out like trash it's very clear at this point that respawn 
probably isn't actually setting the prices or making any of the decisions within the company and that EA has gone full on greed because we should have seen this heirloom stuff coming from a mile away after Andrew Wilson the EA CEO said they're working diligently to offer new types of content and new types of mechanics into the game and that they were really really happy with that event and it performed incredibly well talking about the buster sword and the heirloom death box once again another idea that they are adding in more and more types of cosmetics while giving us less and less for them let me know down below what are your thoughts on some of the recent changes with heirlooms these new universal ones and how it seems that they are phasing out specific legend heirlooms at least for quite some time also don't forget to check out this channel right here where i cover video game news on other things like the finals helldivers 2 and power world and so much more and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands i'll see you out there